Dang. Look at those graphics. I mean, right there is just super freaking cool. But then we go back to the freaking bobbing that I hate so much. I, I mean, I, I always turn that off in games. And I wish that you could turn that off in this game. Because it is so annoying. I don't even get to stop to look at the nice house that they provided. But, I mean, this looks really cool. I don't know what it is about like single player campaigns that I really like. Uh, it's just um, sometimes I'll just play like single player campaigns and like it better than the actual uh, than the actual like multiplayer. Or um, I know this one has like extinction mode and squads and things like that. So I'm, most likely I'll like the campaign a little more. But again, just look at that you know I love what they can do with a uh, new gen now no I'm coughing up along don't mind me Yeah, we do. You're gonna be all right, son. Well, I'm kind of fading right now. So. We're in the, the back part of a truck. You are, like, crying your eyes out. And, of course, the Call of Duty logo pops up in the middle of our screen for no reason! During a fade transaction. A fade transaction. The Federation's rise to power. So now we get a, another cutscene. No offense, but how could South America do that? Uh, I don't understand. They're, I know this is supposed to be said in the future and everything like that, but I honestly don't see that happening. And uh, to be honest, I don't think it would have been a stalemate either. Please tell me it's someone like Russia or Korea, the Chinese. Oh gosh. So here's the appearance of the dog. Riley apparently is his name. I don't give two craps because we shouldn't be naming equipment. So, hey. So, yeah. This dog is just a tool. It should not have a name. It has no reason for a name. And I wonder if I shot it right now, would it actually tell me to stop the mission? Or would it be like one of those friendly fire warnings? Ooh, birds! Eh. Glad to see birds in the game, guys. 
But I, I honestly do like uh, the idea of being in a amphitheater. Uh, I think that that was kind of a neat concept. We don't really see those in Call of Duty much. Well, little Riley over there is just like sniffing the dirt. You know. No, Riley was over there in the corner, okay? Riley was not doing anything, okay? <sighs> and this slide is kind of cool, but. And to be honest, what's with this game in their ACOG sites? I, I don't understand it. See, he gets a red dot sight. How come I don't get a red dot sight? Everything works better with a red dot sight, and yet... Oh, you're picking up enemy life forms there, tool. Satcom could have told me the exact same thing. Nah, I'll... I'll just... He looks like a bad guy. Let's just plop him in the head. I mean, come on. I know who the enemies are in this Call of Duty campaign. I, I don't need direction to say, oh, they're bad. They're not wearing our colors. So... Yeah. See, this this is a better better site. Way better site. Okay. So Okay. So we're going this way. Well, at least I saved one of them. Actually, I saved none of them. You've got to be kidding me. They still have that from Modern Warfare? And come on, I wasn't even close. Okay, so we head over here. I don't think we can save any of the civilians, to be honest. It's kind of sad, but... Let's see here. There we go. No, you don't need backup now. See, from playing the campaign, like just the little bits that I've already played of it, and then playing the multiplayer, it is so different. I mean, it is ridiculous. Ridiculously different. And, you know, some people may say that the grenade indicator now is pretty stupid. I don't mind it, to be honest. I, I honestly don't mind it. Probably would help to pull out the DMR. Or again, whatever they call in this game. That was a little bit of destructibility there, but not too much. You know what? I'm just gonna advance.
Come on. Is this is this the best you guys can do? What the hell? Call of Duty, you frickin' suck. You, you, you make random grenades pop out of nowhere and... Oh, God.